you got there? Oh. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right, everybody. We are back. Making sure. All right. We are going back in time again to 1985. The year of Back to the Future. And today's trailer is Silver Bullet. Mm. The Stephen King classic. Now, the book is called The Cycle of the Werewolf. We should almost call those 80 reviews. Every movie we're reviewing is in yeah, the 80s. No, actually, um, we did do like when we did, I think The Omen was like 79. That's true. We do go back to 70s. And Cobra was in the 80s. But really? that's the thing. Stay tuned because you never know how far but the forward fun part and back about we're going to go. The fun part about it is by reviewing stuff in the 80s, some people might not have seen it. You, you reviewed the latest Terminator movie. Everybody's seen it. Right. You review something in the 80s, like, you know, the last video, I had no idea what I was watching. So let's We're check it out. We're trying to pique your interest. So here we go in three, two, one. Oh, green. <laughs> Corey Haynes. I'd like to talk to you. One of the many Corys. I saw what I saw. Psychotics are more active when the moon is full. So they say. What's your boy, Busey or whatever? Gary Busey. I'd be more scared of him than right. the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like the werewolf would hide from him. You've got to get this idea out of your head. There are no such things as werewolves. Really? The Bible tells us to fear the terror of the beast. I am scared to death. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I think I know. I want you to turn this into a silver bullet. <laughs> Freaking ten-year-old kid tells you to make a bullet for him. You ask a few questions, but a ten-year-old right. kid asks Busey to make a bullet. You better watch it. Think he's going to come after me? Are you ready? You see how all things serve the will and the mind of God. Jesus. You meddling little shit. There's another movie I don't remember too much, you know? Now, I know I've seen it, you know? Yeah. It's iconic. He's out there! I saw him! She's talking about Busey. <laughs> now. So, Silver Bullet actually <clears throat> refers to his chair. He is a paraplegic. He, it also Corey refers Haynes. to uh, cool as beer. <laughs> True, I guess. <laughs> but so in the movie, it's actually like I said, "Cycle of the Werewolf" is Stephen King's novel, or the name of the story. In here, it's told through narration by the sister of Corey Haim, his older sister. Um, uh, spoilers from this point on: you, the Reverend, who you see, he's the werewolf. And nobody suspects it because it's him. But in the movie, Corey Haim fires a bottle rocket, hits him in the eye. So they eventually run into... Like with silver on it or something? No, it's just... But the sister <clears throat> tries to help find out what's going on, mm -hmm. and they see him with a patch on. And then he mm. says to Gary Busey, his uncle, the drunk uncle, make a bullet for me. And one of the coolest parts, they show it a little, he goes to the gunsmith and says... Yeah, my nephew is into, like, the Lone Ranger and stuff like that. Because what else would you need a silver bullet for? Uh -huh. And the guy says, how about killing a werewolf? So you get this grand... The climax of the movie is it's, like, the last night of the full moon. The werewolf knows that... Gary, uh, Gary, that uh, <laughs> Corey Haim and his sister knows who he is, so he has to do it. So you have... We actually enjoy werewolves and, and vampires old school. Mm -hmm. This one is a nice take where it's not this grand scheme, and was, giant you know, beast, a small town, Stephen King. And a modern werewolf. Right. And he's amongst them. Nobody knows who he is or what he's about. So if you haven't checked it out or you have, check it out again. This is Silver Bullet from 1980. Let me check. Five. We're going back in time so much. So 
Check it out for yourself and stay tuned for more from us. Because we are the Dude Brothers. He's Max. I'm Chubbs. Till next time, over and out.